Hello, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you the basics of using the spoofer. Now I'm assuming you already have purchased the key and you have access to the zip file. You should also have a key. If you don't, you can join my Discord server, create a ticket and you can buy a product. So let's go ahead and extract all the files into one folder. So double click the zip file and let's move all of these files into a folder. So new folder create it wherever you want, I'm just going to do it on my desktop, name it wherever you want, and let's move all the files into the folder. It's a little slow for me because I'm running a virtual machine, but for you it's going to be much faster. Anyways, let's close the zip file and go into the folder. We're going to have to log in before we can use the spoofer, so let's go and right click the client, run as administrator, and press yes. Now a window should pop up and we're going to click settings, login, and in here we're going to enter our information. So for me it's test and then the key, let me just get it, let's paste in the key and let's save the file. So you can either press Control and S or you can click on file and save. Now uh, let's click start spoofer and everything should work just fine. So you can close the client, you don't need it anymore. You can also hide this window uh, by pressing Control alt o and it just disappears. You can show it by pressing the same shortcut and it just works. Anyways, let's try to hide something from Task Manager or Process Hacker and Process Explorer. You can hide from anything, but I'm just going to show you what I have right now. This is just an example. So if I open Task Manager, by default, Spoofer is not hiding anything. You have to go in and add things yourself. So you can see everything's running. We can see the injector. I can say Task Manager, Windows Explorer, all those processes, right? So let's try to hide, for example, Windows Explorer. And the way we do that is we have to open the data folder. And we have to add Task Manager's process name, which is taskmgr.exe into the scanners.txt. Now, scanners are tools that you want to hide from. And the process hide are processes that we are hiding from scanners. So, let's try to add task manager to scanners. Uh, you can view process name using task manager by right-clicking the CPU or any other field, any other field, and check process name. This should show process name. So, let's go and add task mgr.exe. There is another way of finding the process name. For example, if I want to find process hacker's name, you're gonna right click the file, open file location, and we can see right here process hacker.exe. That is what we need. You might not see .exe, so just go and click on view and check, oops, check file name extensions. Now let's go and add process hacker as well. Or maybe let's do it later just to show you how it works. So if I save this, we can go and start hiding processes. Now this is only going to hide from Task Manager for now, but later we we'll do the rest. So go into the data folder, open process hide, and in here we're going to add processes we want to hide. So let's hide notepad, right? Notepad.exe, notepad.exe, and as soon as we save, it should disappear. If I want to hide explorer.exe, we save it, it's gone. If we want to hide something else, for example, the spooler service, we're going to add spool, oops, spool sv.exe, we save it, and it's gone. Now, if I open task, uh, sorry, if I open process hacker, you can see that we can actually find notepad right in here. And that is because process hacker isn't added to scanners list. So let's go and add it. Process hacker, oops, make sure the name is correct, .exe. And as soon as you save, it's going to disappear. As you can see, I can try to find Explorer. Right, it doesn't exist. Now let's try to add something else. For example, we have uh, VirtualBox, right? VirtualBox service. Uh, 
Uh, actually, let's find VBox service, right? So VBox, and there you go. So if we want to hide it, we're gonna enter its name. V, oops, .exe. And if we save it, it disappears. So this is pretty much it for this tutorial. But if you looked into the data folder, you can see there is uh, some other files like blacklist, hide icon, and thread speed. But I'm going to show you what I do in the next tutorial. So just check the playlist. There should be a new video. But um, anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you very soon. If you have any questions, leave a comment or create a ticket by joining my Discord server, and I will help you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you very soon.